If you have a 12-hour layover in Doha, Qatar, don't sit in the airport. Get some local cash, grab an Uber, and head over to Souk Waqif. You can see quite a lot all in one day. It's relatively easy and doesn't cost too much. Come along and we will show you some of the sights we saw. You can see cruise ships in the Doha port, a display of historical flags outside the National Museum, Arriving in the old town Souk Waqif, dating back 250 years, you can enjoy colorful shops, spices, handicrafts, traditional garments and incense burners, souvenirs. There are so many restaurants and things to see. Okay, we are in Qatar. This is the city of Doha. We are in a souk here. It's Waqif Souk. This is one noisy market. This bird market has an endless assortment of every imaginable pet and bird to take home. Birds from many countries grace the homes of the locals to hear their happy chirping. When you walk out of the bird market to Cornish Street, you can enjoy a pony ride, a Cinderella carriage ride, and even a camel ride. Across the street is Doha Corniche, seven kilometers of beautiful walkways overlooking the waterfront. Here you can see the gorgeous wooden dows in the harbor. If you'd like, you can take a cruise on one of them. The dows were used by the Qataris to fish and dive for pearls. This played a huge role in Qatar's history before the discovery of oil in 1939. Just before entering the Dow Harbor stands this pearl monument. This fountain sculpture depicts a giant open oyster presenting a massive pearl in its mouth. This fountain lights up at night for great photos. Approximately 1 in 10,000 oysters contains a pearl. Diving for pearls when it's an extremely dangerous profession back in the day. Along the Corniche, we found a driver to take us touring for the rest of the day for 80 US dollars. Drive through the city to see magnificent architectural buildings, shopping areas, bridges, government buildings. We even drove by one of the many palaces here in the city of Doha. This palace is surrounded by a fence that is three miles long. spend all day at this Katara cultural village where the old meets new with plenty of shopping and restaurants. Then if you only have one night to eat out, this is it. Dinner at the Boho Social is a number one choice. They have amazing food, spectacular skyline and waterfront dining views. It's especially scenic to see this in the evening with the night lights across the water.
Welcome to Little Italy in Doha. There are lots of little shops, Venice style canals, and bridges, and amazing restaurants. On the way back to the airport, be sure to be on the lookout for the iconic Katara Towers. Driving through the city at nighttime is spectacular. We drive by a stadium that was used only once for the World Cup. Seven new stadiums have been built in and around Doha to host the 64 football matches for the FIFA World Cup 2022. Stadium 974 was named after Qatar's international dialing code and the number of containers used to build this stadium. This stadium will be completely dismantled and shipped to a country in need of a secondhand sports stadium. They even put 974 on this walking path over the freeway. Be sure to purchase life and medical insurance online before leaving the Doha airport for your tour of the city. Thank you for joining us on this quick tour of the beautiful city of Doha. Take care and God bless.